Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through URL rewriting guys. So we are discussing about sessions guys. So how sessions can be identified or established we are discussing. So in that the third method is URL rewrites. Okay, so basically URL rewrites we did discuss about these things previously guys, but I didn't mention them in this way. Okay, so basically whenever you are entering something in your website if you there is a form and if you enter the details inside it so if you notice carefully the url will consist the details guys with the username question after question mark there will be a question mark after that there will be the field name equal to the value which you entered and similarly the process continues so basically this is nothing but url redirect guys in simple words you can say okay in url rewriting we append a token or identifier okay to the f to the url of the next servlet or the next resource we can send parameters names values pairs using the format okay so assume that when when you click on something a particular servlet will be called in that you will be entering your details and all those things once the servlet is done you need to call one more servlet so assume in this way with the input which he gave or which the main user gave so to process this or to transmit this again, we will be using the URL redirect case. Simple words. Okay. Okay. So it will be in this way. Name one, value one. Name two, value two. Address and it continues. Okay. So a name and value is separated using equal to sign. A parameter name is a parameter specified by another parameter and an ampersand with address symbol you will be using them. We will be separating two parameters guys. Okay. Okay. So the major advantages, so the advantages will be the almost same and disadvantages will also be the same guys. So advantage, it will always work whether the cookies are enabled or disabled. So it does not depend like cookies, if cookies are disabled cookies will not work right. But these URL rewriting will work on any situation. So and extra form submission is not required on any page. So if you recall. We discussed about hidden form fields, right? So in that we used to add one more field to our form like hidden. It will not be appearing for everyone, but it is hidden, right? So that is also not there here. So that's that comes also in an, an advantage. Disadvantage of URL rewriting is it will work on only with the links. So basically if you want to transfer your data to a new servlet or to a new link only then you can use this guys. Similarly, it can send only textual information. So this is also a common disadvantage. Okay, so let us take the same example which we are discussing from this first lecture onwards. Okay, so the same we are collecting the username and we are clicking go once you enter the username. Okay, so the action is nothing but servlet one. So this is nothing but servlet one. Guys, I think the names are given wrong. This is servlet one is nothing but servlet for the servlet guys. Or you can even connect it with the help of the XML file. So even even in XML file, if it is connected, these two are same. Then it, you can say that okay, it's correct. Okay, okay. So you wrote the boilerplate code again. Okay. So once you are collecting the username from here, right? So get parameter username. So you collected successfully from here. You got the username to n. So you wrote welcome n. Okay. N is nothing but the name, guys. I'm just for our easy for our ease. I'm calling it as n only. Okay. So output is nothing but here. If you observe. So here you are transmitting it to one more link. So here you are trying to call servlet to with the u name that is nothing but username as a, the name which was given. Assume that the given name was Ravi. So Ravi is being passed. Okay. So now in the second program you will be directly you can. So this is nothing but the boilerplate code guys. Okay. So after that you will be directly connecting and collecting the values. That's it. So get parameter u name. So already u name is specified here. So name name is nothing but Ravi. So Ravi is stored in n. So hello Ravi will be printed again. Same logic. Okay. So if you observe the XML file, it will be also the same. Like web XML. Sorry, web app servlet. The servlet name is S1. Class name is first servlet. Servlet close like that. In that way, same process. Okay. Okay. So the output, if you ask me about the output, the output will also be the same, guys. There is no change in the output also. Okay, so initially you will be asking you ask you will be asking your name. After that, you will be getting the output as welcome your name. Welcome your if your name is Ravi, welcome Ravi. Okay. Similarly, if you close this browser and if you open it again after a minute or two, 
you will automatically getting this message you will not be asking you he will not be asking about your username because it is already being stored somewhere right yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about uh, url rewriting so in the next lecture we will be going through http session interface guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching